How to treat corals affected by stony coral tissue loss disease. Currently, the most effective method being used to treat stony coral tissue loss disease is the topical application of antibiotics, specifically amoxicillin, using a specially developed pharmaceutical paste called base to b Depending on the number and size of the lesions on each infected coral, a 400 gram jar of base to b mixed with 50 grams of amoxicillin will fill six syringes and treat between six to 18 corals. This video will demonstrate how to apply the base to be amoxicillin mixture to corals that have been affected by stony coral tissue loss disease. Because it may be difficult to treat all diseased corals, there are criteria that you can consider to determine which corals to prioritize. Consider the following. What species are they? Some susceptible species, such as brain, star, and starlet corals, contribute substantially to reef building, so they may need to be prioritized. What's their relative size? Colonies that are large for their species are likely to be older and contribute more substantially to reproduction, so you can prioritize treatment for larger individuals. What's their localized reproductive capacity? A coral surrounded by other live colonies of the same species probably also has greater reproductive potential. Is this species endangered? Some of the coral species that are most susceptible to this disease, such as the pillar coral and the lobe star coral, are listed as vulnerable and endangered respectively on the IUCN's red list of species. Since these species are already threatened with extinction, it is imperative that we do as much as possible to try and save them. How much of the colony is unaffected? We recommend treating a coral if at least 50 to 75% of its tissues are still alive. This will ensure that most of the coral colony will survive. How abundant are the lesions? Treatment efforts are most efficient if you focus on corals with easily treated lesions, such as those with a small number of lesions or small lesion sizes. Is the coral an iconic coral that is recognized as being important for historical, educational, or economic purposes? Try to treat if this answer is yes. Once you've identified the corals that need to be treated, apply the base to be amoxicillin mixture along the edge of the disease lesion in a one centimeter wide strip with half covering the exposed skeleton and the other half covering live tissue around the entire disease margin. While the application of the mixture here will kill the living tissues, it will halt the spread of the disease as these marginal tissues are probably already infected. Squeeze the mixture out of the syringe and press it into the lesion border. It will then expand and adhere to the white skeleton and the live tissue. This will only work if the skeleton is bare. If it is covered with algae, then the compound won't adhere to it. This may also indicate that the lesion is old and does not need to be treated. Do not apply modeling clay to the top of the ointment since this will hinder the ointment's ability to release the amoxicillin into the coral tissue. Sometimes, adhesion to the coral might be poor if the compound is applied to inactive lesions. However, if you have persistent adhesion problems across several lesions on corals, Make sure to mix the ointment for an additional five minutes during the next round of treatments. Please note that treating corals in areas with strong occurrence will usually require extended mixing times. Also, ensure that approximately half of the one centimeter strip of paste is anchored to dead white skeleton. If the paste is not adhering to the coral skeleton, you can also anchor it with a few small points of modeling clay. Demarcate the treatment site so you can easily identify where the treatment has been applied since the base to be ointment will eventually dissipate. This will help you determine whether or not the disease progression was halted or if you need to retreat the coral. Monitor the site in a month to determine treatment success. We hope this video will help you in your efforts to treat your reefs. For more information on stony coral tissue loss disease, please go to the Coral Disease page on GCFI's website at this link. The Coral Disease page on Agra's website at this link. Or Ocean Alchemist's website at this link.
Thank you to NOAA's Coral Reef Conservation Program, to the Turks and Caicos Reef Fund, to Ocean Alchemists, Nova Southeastern University, Roatan Marine Park, and to many others who helped with editing this video. Please don't hesitate to get in touch with us if you need more help. <laughs>